Hello everyone, I am Magindra Singh from Sagi Infotech. Today we will discuss about our software Cloud GST. And our to today's topic of discussion is GSTR 9. So for the working purpose, first we need to mention the username and the password. After the mentioning username password, we can log in further. I click on submit and do the other credential work. Now after selecting the Gen GST, I can directly log in the GST page. Now this is a, uh, the front page, the dashboard of our cloud GST. For the working purpose, first you need to create your client by using the client creation option. If you initially create your client, click on this import tab, select import by GST and mention username and password and capture so you can directly get your data from portal to our software. This is the initial process of creating your client. After creating the client, you can go for the next option which is the return form. In returns, you need to select the regular and then go for the GSTR 9. So uh, let's see what is GSTR 9 all about. Basically, GSTR 9 is an annual return to be filed once for each financial year by the registered taxpayer who were regular taxpayer including the size units. The taxpayer are required to furnish details of purchase, sales, input tax credit or the refund claim or demand credit. Basically in GST, uh, GSTR 9, the turnover limit is uh, uh, 2 crore is optional and above 2 crore is mandatory. So for the working purpose, first we need to select one client and if you not import the data previously, so there is an option import returns data from portal. When you click there, software asks you to select the particular details by selecting the particular period that you want to import for complete year or particular month, select it and then import your data from portal to software. After importing the data, you can also get the latest updated status of your particular client. Just mention the username, password and capture. So you can get the updated, uh, what I said, the details from the portal. If you want to take a preview, you can also uh, just uh, mention the caption and take a preview of particular client. So after uh, mentioning and get the details from portal, we can go for the GSTR 9 fill process. When we click GSTR 9 fill process, first one option is outward and inward supply. In outward and inward supply, there is total two points. First is detail of advanced inward outward supply and second one is detail of outward supply. So when we click on this fourth detail of advanced or inward or outward supply option, you can check that here you can uh, check the details about this, that what is this uh, supply made up of unregistered process. If you want to read the particular conditions or what exactly the formula we use over there, so we mention clearly in this note option that B2CS uh, plus B2CL plus what exactly the total detail is going to be. Same thing you can go for the detail of outward supply. When you click there, you can get the information about the details of outward supply in software. One more option is also there which is the section option. In section, you can get the detail or categorize the detail by these four options like uh, as per the software, as per the portal, as per the books or as per the return. If you want to check the uh, two options like software and portal, you can select it and click on uh, OK. So software show you the detail as per the software and as per the portal. There is one more option is there, which is the difference of different different options like software and portal difference, software and return difference, softwares and book difference. There is one more option which is export. You can export same detail in uh, Excel format. You can also import the detail in excel option as well like this the sheet is completely export so after proceeding further if you want to uh, select the other option there is an option import you can also import the detail from excel to software same thing, uh, there is a next one option with detail of ITC. In detail of ITC, there is total 
three options are there details of itc availed detail of itc revised and eligible itc and the eighth one is other itc related information so in detail of itc availed you can check the input details and the capital goods input service detail and the total of all these if you click this icon you can check that uh, what is the total amount of input availed through the form gstr 3b and gstr the, the particular tab and from which option you can get this uh, the particular detail same thing if you want to check the 6b detail we also mentioned uh, this note where we show you the particular calculation that how we calculate this particular input amount same thing the uh, different different section option is also there you can just uh, select the particular option there is two more option is there that that you want to you can disable the particular thing like if i untick this so input details good details are uh, disabled automatically if i want to enable it you can click there and enable these total read only related details So after checking these detail, we can go for the next option, which is detail of ITC revised and ineligible ITC. As per the particular section, you can check the total uh, IGST, CGST in single page. And what is the exact uh, detail used over there? You can click on this particular uh, question mark icon and you read these detail briefly. Like when I click on this uh, plus icon, so I can check that as per the portal, what is the difference at uh, the difference between portal and software because I already select the difference between software and portal. So through this way, we can also check the description uh, of particular details. Same thing we follow for the other IT, uh, ITC related information. If some details are left, you can just uh, click on this icon and you can just check the particular information as per the portal or as per the software directly in, uh, in single page with the difference amount if there is any difference amount so after uh, mentioning all these details cross check every details there is options save button you can just save the details and go for the next option which is the detail of tax paid the detail of tax paid basically show you the total igst and cgst according to particular section which section you selected over there same thing the fifth one option which is the previous financial year transaction previous financial year transaction having the description of the particular uh, sections like uh, when i click on this plus icon so what is the total supplier tax detail through amendment plus net of debit notes i can directly you know check the particular to uh, total taxable amount over there and there's a different tax option is there so differential tax option show you the particular payable paid and balance uh, information about your differential tax as per the integrated tax if i click there so i can get the detail about integrated tax or if i want to check the central tax so i can just check the central tax detail also so this is the simple process through which i can just calculate or check the particular description about the differential tax in the particular previous financial year transaction case other information option is also there where uh, you can just uh, get the other informations like the particular of demands and refund supply received from the composition taxpayer uh, deemed supply under section 143 hsny summary of outward supply hsny summary of inward supply and late fee so uh, the first one option which is the particular uh, of demand and refunds if you click this icon you can just check the total refund claimed total uh, refund rejected or pending or because you already select the sections uh, so software show you the what exactly the particular refund claim as per the software or as per the particular portal so you can check these detail from here as well after uh, getting these information you can proceed the further option so after that the next one option is supply uh, received from the composition taxpayer here you can check the particular details about the uh, supplier received from the composition taxpayer 
goods approval basis on the particular condition or uh, then after that the next one option is hsny summary outward supply here you can uh, check the particular hsny summary outward supply if you want to add something there is an option category category where you can select the particular that it belongs to the particular goods or service if you know the hsn code mention the hsn code or select is that it belong to the particular uh, which uh, bqc the particular description the unit and taxable value so you can add your own hsn wise summary in outward supply if you want to add the hsn wise summary in inward supply follow the same condition by using this add tab and then after that the last one option is late fee payable and paid so here you can just uh, click the cgst where sh uh, software sh uh, show you the late fee payable paid on which condition just read it and just check your particular details over there after just uh, filling the all information cross check the all information you can go for the last one option which is the e file option when you click on e file option there is a option download if you already uh, uh, having a detail in uh, system so there is a option download gst9 from uh, system computed summary as a pdf once you click on the generate json software generate the particular json and as per the your given destination like this if there is any error the software generate the error report also where you can just download the particular error report and just verify and cross check the all points then after that there the next tax liability option is uh, also there where you can check the particular uh, net tax liability in this particular option software preview draft and gst9 pdf if you want to check this as a draft so you can just click this option software preview the draft so software generated this kind of a draft of gst9 so this is the basic information where you can just click particular option and just check out the particular report so after exit from this page we uh, proceed for the other option which is the proceed once you click on proceed you can directly upload uh, your particular details uh, or generate your particular gst9 from the software so this is the total information about how to file a gst9 now there is one more option which is gst9 summary if you already prepared the form or if you want to check the particular uh, summary then this is the gst9 summary summary as per the software as per the portal as per the books or as per the return and what are the difference between them you can just check out the particular difference between the all these given condition we can bifurcate the particular uh, pages or the condition by different different colors so if you want to export this this is the option export summary you can just export these uh, this particular sheet in excel format for the further use so this is all about our gstr 9 process where you can just uh, check the all information you can just uh, verify the all details uh, about uh, your filing so this is all about a gst9 if you have any kind of queries related about the gstr9 please call us on our number which is 0141407200 or you can also drop a mail on our mail id which is info@saginfotech.com thank you and have a nice day